Hello and welcome to the In Focus series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha Singh and in today's video we will be discussing about the Global Fuel Alliance, the countries involved in it and what is it which is driving the Global Fuel Alliance. So the Global Fuel Alliance was launched during the G20 summit when it took place in starting of this month in India that is New Delhi and India for the very first time was hosting the G20 summit and it was considered to be a successful G20 summit hosted by India and at the end the G20 declaration which is the New Delhi declaration was signed by and passed by a consensus. So first of all about the timeline first we will be looking at the news then about biofuels then biofuel and alternate to fossil fuel or not then renewed focus on biofuels do biofuels aid energy transition founding members of the biofuel alliance and what are their role in the end prelims mcq topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is environment section from exam perspective you should be able to know that what is the target year which is set by india and how much are they planning for the ethanol and ethanol blending with petrol and then you should be able to know about biofuel and about the biofuel alliance and who all are the founding members there. So the news talks about what is driving the global biofuel alliance. Important thing that we need to discuss is the global biofuel alliance. So whenever we see global means globally all over the world biofuel. So biofuel is considered to be an alternate of the fossil fuels. So biofuel is also a type of fuel which is a renewable fuel which means it is made from organic matter and this will be renewable. It means naturally and originally this can be this can come back again and again into the nature. So a alliance has been created and India has moved this plan to create an alliance globally which will work towards making and shifting from fossil fuels towards the biofuels. So this is what is the major concept. So on the sidelines of the annual G20 summit, India led grouping. So the grouping is led by India. India led grouping came together to give impetus to the production and use of biofuels. So it talks about the production and use of biofuels. Use of biofuels so that we move away from the Fossil fuels that is the crude petroleum, crude pet, crude oil, petrol, diesel. We need to move away from this because they are limited in nature and we need to move away from this towards the biofuel which are renewable in nature and which can be replenished again and again. And we also need to look into the perspective of the more and more production of the biofuels. It is considered to be an alternative to the fossil fuels like petroleum and diesel. So the Global Biofuel Alliance is the aim of the global biofuel alliance is to bring countries together so that all the countries can come together to develop accelerate technological advances in production processes production needs to be accelerated and advocate for the use of biofuels particularly in the transport sector so the major aim or the aim of the global biofuel alliance is to make the globe or to make the world come together, work on the production and increase the production of the biofuels and then work towards the sectors, especially the transport sector in which the maximum fossil fuels are used and this also led to the emissions of harmful emissions of the greenhouse gases and also the carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and this also hurts the environment in some way or the other. So biofuels what it will help is it will actually basically solve the problem first of all about the emissions problem with regard to the carbon monoxide and the carbon dioxide and this will also help in the reduction of import of petroleum because this can blend with petrol like for example one of the biofuels can be ethanol so we are already blending ethanol with petroleum and we have India has already achieved the target of 10% blending of ethanol with petroleum so this is how and this is why we are shifting towards the biofuel and the biofuel alliance has been made 
and there are three founding members in the biofuel alliance and that is india united states of america and brazil so india us and brazil are the founding members and this was later joined by argentina canada italy and south africa now about biofuels so what are biofuels so according to the international energy agency which is the iea so what they say is that a biofuel is a liquid fuel so it is the form in which it is is liquid so it is a liquid fuel derived from biomass now what is biomass biomass is the organic matter organic matter like for example derived from crops you can say sugarcane so it is a liquid fuel which is derived from biomass and used as an alternative to fossil fuel based liquid transportation fuels such as gasoline diesel and aviation fuels so it is in liquid form it is in liquid form it is derived from biomass that is organic matter and it is an alternative to the fossil fuels like for example that is ethanol and biodiesel is also being made so ethanol is already being blended with petrol and india has already achieved the 10% blending target and for the year 2025 india has put the target to achieve 20% blending of ethanol will with petrol and how do we obtain ethanol which is a biofuel we obtain ethanol from sugarcane so how is this going to be very helpful for our country how is this going to be very helpful for our country is that if for if first of all we will be producing more ethanol that is a biofuel we will be blending it with petrol 10% we are already done if we will move to, to by 2025 to 20% then import of petrol with will come down if import of petrol will come down then the forex reserve of our country will be saved which we pay while we while we import crude oil from outside because india is a country which more than 80% is dependent on the import of the crude oil from outside and we import a lot of crude oil from russia from iraq from saudi arabia so this is how it will help us and this usage of more and more biofuel will also be very good for the environmental factors and then environment emissions the carbon dioxide emissions the carbon monoxide emissions will also come down and if more and more ethanol will be blended with petrol then the emissions from the transport sector will also come down so it is a cycle that if the blending of biofuel that is a ethanol will petrol take place and the use of biofuel would be done more and more on regular basis then this will be very helpful in the longer run for our country and all over the globe so biofuel can also be considered a renewable energy source which is derived from biomass such as crop stubble plant waste and municipal solid waste renewable energy because it is it can be replen it is replen replenishable in nature it comes back to the nature in regular and natural form and it can be derived from the biomass that is the organic matter and that organic matter can be from crop stubble that we get from like for example sugarcane then plant waste also we can get it and there are different ways which is also being found out by the scientists and the environmentalists all over the world that more and more ways are found out so that we can move at a better and a faster pace from fossil fuels towards the biofuels then biofuels and alternate to fossil fuels so biofuels can be derived from crops which are grown specifically to produce biofuels like for example sugarcane corn or soya bean and these are considered to be the first generation biofuel so they are basically the sugarcane corn soya bean so these are basically the edible part of the crops from which it will be generated then there is sustainable biofuels sustainable biofuels means that which can be sustained for a very long period of time and that can work better for a long period of time then this can be this can be derived from agricultural waste used cooking oil and processed animal residues like fats and this can be considered as the second generation biofuel because these are considered 
दिस इज टेकन फ्रॉम द एडेबल पार्ट लाइक द शुगर केन कॉर्न और सोयाबीन वाइल वी टॉक अबाउट द सेकेंड जनरेशन बायोफ्यूल देन दे कैन बी टेकन फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चरल वेस्ट यूज कुकिंग ऑयल एंड एनिमल रेसिड्यूज लाइक फैट दैट इज यू कैन से दैट इट द ड्राई मैटर इज यूज इन दिस एंड द ग्लोबल बायोफ्यूल अलायंस इज एम्फिसाइजिंग मोर टूवर्ड्स द सेकेंड जेनरेशन बायोफ्यूल so the global biofuel alliance is saying that we need to move towards the sustainable biofuel which is the second generation biofuel that is from agricultural waste like cooking oil processed animal residues like fat now let's talk about the renewed focus on biofuels so that is the disruptions to global crude oil supplies following the ukraine war so when the ukraine war took place the global supply chain was disturbed and when the global supply chain was disturbed many countries which were affected these countries were trying to find out an alternative through which they can find that whether they can shift from one place that is the fossil fuel to another place that is the biofuels countries looking for an alternative and india is a country which imports more than 80% of its crude oil so what happens is the transport accounting for about one quarter of global carbon emissions so for if we are transporting and we are importing so much of crude oil and our neighbor china also imports uh, almost uh, they are also very much dependent on the import so majority of their crude oil is also imported so through the transportation of crude oil from one place to another place the transportation factors and the transportation cost and the emissions generated through these transportations are very harmful for the environment then the renewed attempts have been made to accelerate the decarbonizing of the transport sector and that is why there is almost all the top level of auto automobile industry players they are moving towards the electric vehicle that is the ev policies or they are moving towards the electric vehicle or the battery production so that they can lower down the emissions which are give, being generated through the transportation from transportation because of the fossil fuels so th but still what remains a problem is that even though we can shift towards battery or the electric vehicle in shorter format vehicles but the longer format vehicles like the transport like aviation shipping and long haul trucking they will still depend on the fossil fuels like the petrol or the diesel and it is difficult to switch them into the electric vehicle because that requires a huge intensity of electric vehicle that can generate the same amount of torque and the intensity to the vehicle so this becomes a big challenge now do biofuels aid energy transition or not then most biofuels today are blended with petrol or diesel as i have already told you that in india ethanol plus petrol blending of 10% has been achieved and now the target is of 20% by the year 2025 and india is on target to achieve it then some experts are saying that accelerating ev adoption and developing alternatives like green hydrogen must be the focus of the ongoing energy transition so that we can move away from the fossil fuels like the crude crude oil petrol diesel and moving away from these fossil fuels towards the green energy and towards the electric vehicles and towards the biofuels in itself is a very long process even though if we are on target to achieve it then also this is not a very rapid process that we can do it will take decades to move from fossil fuels towards the biofuels then about the founding members and how much are they contributing towards it then the founding members of the global biofuel alliance are three members that is india us and brazil so the three founding members of the gba produce 85% of global biofuels and they consume about 81% of it and us has announced recently that it has renewable fuel standard 
टू सब्सटेंशियली इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोफ्यूल्स तो द यूनाइटेड स्टेट ऑफ अमेरिका हैज 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 अनवील्ड इट्स प्लान विद रिगार्ड टू द रिन्यूएबल फ्यूल स्टैंडर्ड सो दैट दे कैन इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द बायोफ्यूल्स इंडिया ऑन इट्स पार्ट इज सेटिंग अप ऑफ ट्वेल्व न्यू रिफाइनरीज एज अर्ली एज ट्वेंटी एटीन and the aim was to meet 20% ethanol blending by the year 2025 and we are also on course to achieve this and this has also a lot to do with india announcing to become the net zero by the year 2070 net zero does not mean that we will not be producing any kind of emissions it means that how much emissions we will be producing we will be taking back or we will be reducing the same amount of emissions so india moving towards the global global alliance and global biofuel alliance and also moving and achieving the 20% ethanol and petrol blending also has to has a lot to do with india's target of becoming net zero with 2070 and iea predicts that about 2/3 of the global biofuel demand will come from three emerging economies and that is india brazil and indonesia so the biofuel demand will also be very high in the emerging economies now this was about the global biofuel alliance and few of the other aspects related to it in the end of prelims mcq and people need to tell me the answer in the comment section consider the following statements regarding the global biofuel alliance first the three founding members are india us and brazil its aim is to give impetus to the production and use of biofuels which is an alternative to fossil fuels like petroleum and diesel easy one around 3 to 4 years back upsc used to ask ex exactly these kind of questions so i am i try to give you every single type of questions and so this is one of it and you have to talk about the correct statement one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading and keep writing